what distinguishes this one from from the other ones that you've been playing in? I think this one. Uh, I, I think I like this one the best. It just makes sense. Um, when you line up and you get a call, I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what the guy next to me is doing. And when you feel that way, you can be confident about the way you break on the ball, speaking from a DP perspective, because um, you know where the weaknesses are and you know where your strengths are. You know, Just for example, if I have outside leverage, well, don't get beat outside and trust that the guy inside of you is going to play the inside route. So um, it just makes a lot of sense. Is it? Are you saying it's simpler than, than the other ones, uh, le uh, less, less, less to think about? I wouldn't say it's simpler. There's some, there's some thinking to do. But once you get your call, once you make the adjustment, um, you can be confident um, as long as everybody's on the same page um, that you can do what you're supposed to do. Take a shot every once in a while. Well, last year, especially early, it didn't seem like you guys were on the same page yeah. a lot. Yeah. Or, or I should say you, you were off the same page mm. more frequently than mm -hmm. you had been. Uh, wh why was that? And in, in, is this what you're talking about as far as uh, the, the transition of this defense? Yeah, I don't. I can't put um, my finger on one particular thing, but yeah, there's a lot of times where there's just a gray area, too much gray area. Um, I'm wondering what this guy's gonna do, and so I'm watching him instead of watching the offense because I don't know what the guy in front of me is doing. So um, just a little bit too much gray area at times last year, but that's the past, and I'm focusing on this year, and this year is looking really good. You said there's a lot to think about in this defense, and. Some Browns players last year had some concerns about that, especially with the run defense and gap integrity. Um, are, are you guys worried about that at all, that it, it could be too much when you guys get on the field? No. Um, that's always a concern when you play defense. I was just talking to Eric about it, is making sure everybody's on the same page. So that's always a concern, no matter what call it is. So I'm not concerned about it now. Um, it's OTAs. If there is confusion, we'll get it worked out. we still got training camp. Um, so by that time, we should have all the kinks worked up. What's, what's Jim O'Neill been like in front of the classroom? Teaching? He's passionate. Um, he wants every down to be a good down. He doesn't want the offense to catch the ball. Um, he was pretty upset. They caught a couple balls on him yesterday. He wasn't happy about it. So um, we came out and had a better day today. What's your uh, scouting report on Rashard Robinson and the LSU guy? Uh, I like him. Uh, tough kid. Need to put some weight on him. He might have to start working out with me a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I think he'll be all right. The, the landscape on a football team changes really quickly, and yeah, it's crazy. Seen it change yeah. crazy. You're you're one of the old veterans. Now uh, in no, defense. Right. Are you conscious of that? That they're kind of looking toward you, and you bring something way different than you did just a couple years ago. Well, that's the unfortunate part of the business. I mean, I've I've had guys that I've gotten close to on the team that are no longer with this team, and it sucks. Um, that's just the business side of football that nobody likes. But I mean, it is what it is. You know it coming into it, and the guys we have now are the guys we're going to be with this year, and that's the guys we're going to focus on. So. Um, I think that my role is just to, you know, be a safety, make the call, make the check, um, put the guys in a good position to make plays. How do you like this group of young guys? Uh, they're looking toward you for some leadership and guidance, I would think. I like it a lot. Um, they want to work, and that's the main thing. I mean, I tell you, when you got a group of guys that just want to come in and work every day, you can get better. Um, they say, as you know, what's the saying? The water rises, all the sea, all the ships rise. So I mean, when everybody's raising the level, you know, everybody's getting better. So going against an offense like this and learning a new defensive system, does, does that pace make it harder or, or easier? Is it, is it simplified just because you have to think so quickly? It's tough right now, and I'm open to that. I accept that challenge because when the game comes, name a team that's going to go that fast. So um, the game should be slow motion for us when the season comes. So, um, so I like it. It's a challenge. I'm always up for a challenge, and I think it will make us better in the long run. Eric, Trent has talked about wanting to keep you here, obviously, beyond next year. I hope so. Right. <laughs> where, where does that stand, and where, is there a timeline for you on when you want to get a deal done? I just want to play football, man. I mean, I leave that up. It's going to happen when it's going to happen. It's not in my control. Me worrying about it isn't going to make it come any faster. So um, I just want to be out here and play football with my guys and go home to my family every day. Do you get the feeling from them that they want to see more out of you this year before you get a longer contract, or, or is that possibly already on the table now? That's business, isn't it? I mean, you look at any any form of business, not just football. They want to see production. So, I mean, I haven't had not had that conversation with them, but, I mean, it's obvious to me that they want to see something. So, I mean, that's, that's an all business. Has Jimmy gotten reps with the first team at safety? The only practices we've saw, he's been playing corner. Uh, not at safety. Uh, he's been working corner. Okay. Matt, 
he's been doing at corner? I think he's been doing well. Um, he's obviously making a transition. He's never played the position before, but he had a couple of nice plays today. So um, he just has to keep working. It. What, what what kind of distinguishes him? You know, when you're when you're looking at him from from the back end, what uh, how's he playing? I mean, what what's his calling card as a cornerback? I think he's good at the line of scrimmage. He's patient. He get his hands on guys, and in the NFL, if you can disrupt the route, you mess up that timing. Then I mean, the play is dead for that receiver. So um, I think that's something he does well. He works. He works really good at the line of scrimmage. Jim O'Neill was telling us a couple hours ago that he he views Jimmy Ward as one of the uh, best eleven players on the defense. Is that clear to you as well? I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about what Antoine Bethea coming back does for the defense in the secondary? It's just experience. I mean, when you played the game ten plus years. I don't know if there's anything you haven't seen. I mean, I know the year before I got here, they did the, the gun read with Colin and stuff, but it's rare that you see something new because football is football at the end of the day. I mean, the flat is always the flat. The A gap is always the A gap. So he just sees everything. He sees it fast. Um, you see a formation, he lines up, he's already calling stuff out, and I'm looking at him like, all right. And then they do <laughs> they do what he said. And so, I mean, all right. So uh, he just has that experience. How, how, is, he, how is he physically? He's well. Um, I, we work out today. You're talking about his chest. Yeah. It's good. We, we bench press together today. Um, I'm, I'm nervous for him, like, <laughs> spotting him and stuff, but he's doing all right. How, how much was he benching? Uh, 245, so, and that was incline, so, man, he's doing all right. Is he one of the main leaders in this team, and who would you call the main that is? I think we have a bunch of guys. I mean, I wouldn't just put on, obviously, Navarro, Antoine, um, Blaine, Colin. I mean, there's a bunch of guys. Glenn Dorsey. Guys that you know really take pride in passing on knowledge. They're not selfish guys. They they see a young guy come in and say, "Look, when this happens, you got to do this," and so they're just passing that knowledge on to the next guy. Do you think the team had a leadership issue last season? I mean, you guys were one and seven on the road. A lot of times that can be attributed to a young team. What do you think? I don't think leadership was an issue. Um, I'm talking. We were I don't know two and twelve, but we still had hope. I mean, we still came to work every day looking to win a game. So I wouldn't say that leadership was an issue. Okay. How, how do you handi one. how do you handicap the the battle in front of you to to start next to Navarro and how much does that impact you? How do I handicap it? Yeah, I mean, but how do you how do you view that competition right now in terms of those three guys competing for that starting spot? For the linebackers? Yeah. I mean, next to Navarro. I think they're all capable. It'll be interesting to see who you know who separates themselves. Um, but we got some guys that can play ball, and so we'll see see how it goes. I mean, this is only OTA, so the you know the real stuff will happen. Um, in August.